man from Bethel Parks created a tabletop version of Pitt's Cathedral of Learning out of Legos. He hopes his creation will get enough votes to go national. Dave Crawley pieces it all together. The Cathedral of Learning stands 563 feet above the University of Pittsburgh campus, or one foot above a Lego workbench, depending on which one we're talking about. Josh Hall can make just about anything out of multicolored plastic bricks. As founder of Steel City LUG, L-U-G stands for Lego Users Group, the Bethel Park Lego Builder says Pitt Cathedral was a challenge. One of the major inspirations for it was actually the color of the Stephen Foster Memorial. The roof tile is uh, so it's sand green in Lego colors but it matches perfectly. He has colors to match just about anything. Shelves packed with 300,000 little bricks. He also has every collectible minifigure that Lego has ever produced. Josh Hall's website is filled with mini masterpieces, but things aren't always as they seem. From this angle, the uh, viewer should be able to see uh, Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And then if you slowly turn it, you'll see it slowly morph into uh, Voldemort on this side. His version of Pitt Cathedral has attracted more than a thousand votes on the Lego website. So once it reaches 10,000, Lego will review it and talk about what kind of marketing uh, they can do for it and maybe produce it as a set. Toy stores like Learning Express in the Mount Lebanon Galleria are filled with Lego kits. The so-called idea sets were designed by amateur builders. Will the Cathedral of Learning measure up? It would take all of Pittsburgh to come together and say, we want, you know, Pittsburgh on the, on the map but for Lego. Online voting continues through May 1st. Building a following for the Lego man. I'm Dave Crawley. All right, go to links and numbers at kdk.com to vote for Josh's Lego creation.